Hello YouTube, Wes here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're talking about something a little bit different than I normally talk about, but something I thought would be interesting to those of you here in the vinyl community. And that is Amazon warehouse deals and specifically purchasing vinyl from Amazon warehouse deals. And Amazon warehouse deals is something I had known about in the past, never really gave it much thought. Um, and then one night last week I was, you know, couldn't sleep doom scrolling whatever whatever you do when you can't sleep and uh, I don't know exactly how I sort of found it but I I sort of stumbled across uh, just a way to browse Amazon warehouse deals only strictly in the vinyl segment so anything that was in Amazon warehouse deals that was a a vinyl record I was able to scroll through that list of what they had available and found two things that caught my eye and I thought what the heck we're gonna take the chance I know this is sort of a risky endeavor particularly when we're talking about vinyl records so I wanted to share my experience of, of what I got what I think of the experience of buying records from uh, Amazon warehouse deals and whether I recommend it or not this is the album that sort of sparked everything I saw this and I was like this is something I've been looking for for forever just never got around to finding a good deal on it the the warehouse deal seemed like a good deal I was like what the heck I'm gonna take the chance uh, and that is Nirvana in utero so this is the first one I found the, the first one I picked up um, I'll say I paid around $20 for this so if you look at a sort of a current pressing of this on Amazon, brand new, it's around $30 to buy. Um, I've seen it in stores before and it seems like it's around closer to $35 or $40 uh, to buy in stores. Uh, I'm not sure about all the different pressings of this. There's all kinds of different mixes of this. Uh, there's all kinds of different pressings. So this particular pressing is a 2003 UK pressing and this has the original Steve Albini mix on it. If you're familiar with the different mixes of this album this is where things start to go sort of downhill so I get this and it has um, I'll have to roll in I've got some b-roll of this that I shot but uh, it has a big pretty big crease across here I'm like okay that's gonna be expected it's an Amazon warehouse deal it's something maybe maybe that you know that's that's why it was returned um, we look at the bottom here it's got a seam split along the bottom uh, so we take a look at the vinyl itself here. Uh, the vinyl itself is in is in decent shape. It is very very dirty. I, will, I don't know what happened. This is very very dusty. There's like there's there's glitter on here for some reason. It almost looks like glitter. It's very very shiny dust. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, whether it's glitter or not. But very very dirty. Definitely needs clean. But uh, you know there's no there's no warpage. There's no scratches. So that's that's a positive thing. Uh, that the, the the record itself seems like it's pretty pretty good um, so overall I'm I'm just sort of I think I paid a little too much can based on what I got you know considering that you know considering that brand new it's thirty dollars I think maybe fifteen dollars would have been a better deal for this rather than the 20 I spent um, one thing I will note if anyone from Amazon ever happens to catch this video for whatever reason this sticker is ridiculous and it's I see this on I, I got this on both records luckily the second album I'm going to show you has a PVC cover so it's easily removable this is not going to be easily removable do not stick stickers to album covers please don't do that that's this is going to be really difficult to get off um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get that off without doing some damage to the cover so you know Amazon themselves added some additional damage to this that wasn't necessary it wasn't expected so that's that's definitely a thumbs down for me for that for just the sticker alone they, they should not have done that um, if you have to put it in a sleeve and put a sticker on it do not stick stickers that don't come off directly to album covers um, so yeah that's a big thumbs down for me so overall I'm kind of I kind of got a mixed bag on this um, I will say I did look this up on Discogs this particular pressing and the median price on this is about $45 so I mean considering that maybe I did get a good deal but I feel I feel I paid a little bit too much I would have liked to have paid 10 or 15 for this just based on the condition and the, the you know 
the additional damage that Amazon did to the record. Um, so that is Nirvana's In Utero, the, the album that sort of got me to go, I'm going to go ahead and try one of these Amazon warehouse deals and see what I get. Uh, so that was the first one. I ordered two things. Uh, this one was, I think this one was $8, so definitely much more reasonably priced, I feel, as far as an Amazon warehouse deal. Um, definitely, I felt like I was getting a deal on this one. Um, and this is from 2020, and this is Lapsley's Through the Water. Um, Lapsley is a pop art, female pop artist that I do, I do enjoy, and I didn't catch this one last year. So I saw this in the, in the Amazon warehouse deals, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And as I said, this has a PVC cover. Uh, so this sticker here is going to be pretty easily removed. Um, you know, it's not going to not going to cause any damage to remove that. I just left it on there just to just to prove that yes, this is an Amazon warehouse deal, and this one even has the the inspected sticker, Amazon warehouse deal inspected. Um, and this one. So let's talk about the condition on this one. This one was really weird. It looked like it got wet in places. It it has this sort of film on it, and I've, I've wiped this down. I've, I've cleaned this with a cleaning, you know, a gentle cleaning agent to try to remove some of this, but it has it has some sort of, I don't know what it is, some sort of film on it. Um, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera there. Um, it has a lot of this cr weird creasing on it, and it's, it's on the jacket itself. It looks like it was like run over with a truck or something. I don't know exactly what happened to this. So let's go ahead and pull this out of the PVC sleeve and look closer at the jacket itself. Um, so here is the front cover and the front cover has some dings and dents on it, but overall it's decent. Um, a very, very minor seam split along the top. Not too bad. Uh, definitely better than the uh, Nirvana album. Uh, so we move on to the back cover. On the back cover, it has this sort of weird sort of rounded shaped creases in the I don't know what the hell happened like I said it looks like the album was like uh, it looks like the album was like pulled out of the jacket a little bit run over with a truck and then they pulled it out again and ran it out ran it over the truck again and I, I don't know what the hell just weirdness and it has just sort of an overall waviness like maybe it got a little damp uh, but not you know totally submerged or anything So then we pull out the inner sleeve and the inner sleeve has, I don't know, I don't know what is going on here. Again, this looks like it got like, I can't tell if it got, I mean, maybe it did get run over because this part maybe was sticking out and this is the part that got run over. It's, it's really weird and it has like a tear right here. It's really sort of dusty and you know, it was almost like it was on a, on the floor of some, you know, post office or something somewhere and it got it got sort of dusty and run over <laughs> it's kind of what the idea I'm getting from this one is uh, the vinyl itself again very dirty I have not cleaned this yet I'm gonna want to wanted to make the video first before I cleaned it uh, so I have not played these either of these either to make sure that they they play through okay um, so yeah that that's depressing on that uh, and there is an original poster that goes with this album, and the poster is perfectly fine. Uh, no kind of weirdness going on with the poster, so somehow that survived, no problems. Uh, so yeah, my experience with Amazon warehouse deals, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be buying from the the warehouse deal section again. I feel like they're a little too overpriced for what they are. Um, I just didn't feel like I was getting a great deal. I mean, I felt like I got a little bit of a deal, but it's not like a great deal that makes it makes me feel okay with getting, you know, having damaged records. Uh, I'd rather just spend the extra money and get new ones that are guaranteed. And if they do arrive with damage, you can return them and get new ones. Uh, best thing is to go to your local record store and buy records that way you can see what they look like in advance and you know you're buying a good quality record from them uh, so yeah that's it that's my experience with buying from amazon warehouse deals specifically buying vinyl from amazon warehouse deals i hope you found this video uh uh, instructional, educational, informative, uh, so you can get an idea of what you might expect to get. Um, I think they do allow returns on the warehouse deals, so if you get something and you're just not happy, you can return them. 
Um, but for me, I'm just going to keep these for now. Uh, as long as they play okay once I clean up the vinyl itself. Uh, so that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. And we'll see you again next time. Cheers.